Uh, my name is Jung Wei Lu. I'm from Griffith University, the School of Engineering. I'm foundation professor in electrical and electronic engineering. Yeah, I think the future partners will be quite different with what we have now. And uh, because I came from power industry and worked for seven years as electrical engineer. And uh, I think future power industry will be combined with uh, traditional electrical engineering, electronic engineering, communication together. It, it will also utilize renewable energy system to build a smart grid. And currently I'm working on the microgrid, small, small set. So microgrid is the is a new standard released by IEEE year 2011. So each microgrid will uh, have energy storage and the power generation resource like the wind turbine, PV, any other uh, small power generator. Then you have a low user use that. So this power, this small microgrid can be uh, operated by the cell without power connection, main grid. Of course, it always can plug into the grid, can provide additional energy to the main grid. When you look at all the renewable energy systems coming, you have to build a small microgrid plug into the smart grid. So smart grid is this global, it's a big system. Microgrid is like the cell, the small cell. Uh, currently, I'm working on smart grid research. That's for future. To me, it's the future. Microgrid is now. We, we installed the microgrid demonstration system at Griffith University building. We use lots of ICT technology because all the devices, machine we're using is smart. It, it controlled by ICT technology. So we need, we should monitor all the energy flow, vote, control the voltage, frequency, current, and uh, centralize all information in the small microgrid. We can monitor that, control that. For example, we installed solar PV on the roof. Each panel currently is just like dummy, dummy panel. It just work generate power. But our system, we install the wireless communication system. We can control, it. we can monitor each panel's working condition, the temperature, voltage, current. If it's damaged, one panel died, we can immediately find out which panel died. So it's very important for us the IC technology used for the microgrid or global, uh, the, the larger scale is smart grid. Without ICT, we, we can't call it smart grid. You know, I think power technology is very, very important to the future smart grid. And currently from our demonstration installation microgrid, we found there's so many uh, areas we need communication technology. And uh, still missing part is part. We, we, we just purchase, uh, at the moment, we purchase offshore components. We put them together, we write software to drop it. Uh, I think future Huawei uh, can provide some fantastic um, technology and uh, from hardware and software control this, such a uh, smart grid. Uh, it's very important because we have many, many microgrids connect together. They have to talk to each other. And we also develop forecasting the software. And we look at the whole year, or depending on weather chain, and we have energy stored there. We, we, we should share the energy. energy. If one cluster, or one microgrid, they use all energy, and another one has still have more power there, we can send to them. But they all have to talk to each other, not just working isolated by themselves. So you can imagine the, and the ICT technology is very important for the power industry. Because the power industry is not traditional, I'm talking about future power industry, it's a smart grid technology. It's not traditional power industry. Smart technology rely on such ICT technology.